सम हाई वोल्टेज ड्रामा इन साइड द बिग बॉस हाउस क्योंकि शो में अब अग्रेशन लड़ाई और हिंसा की सारी हदें पार हो गई हैं। बहुत जल्द फैंस को घर में थप्पड़ की गूंज और एक दूसरे पर चप्पल चलने की आवाज सुनने को मिलेगी रिसेंटली हमने देखा था कि गुस्से में माहिरा ने पारस को थप्पड़ मारा था और अब शहनाज गिल सिद्धार्थ को थप्पड़ चढ़ेंगी Also, a major fight is going to break out between ex-lovers Madhurima Tuli and Vishal Aditya Singh in tonight's episode of Big Boss 13. Big Boss 13 के latest promo में सिद्धार्थ शुक्ला को शहनाज गिल जोरदार थप्पड़ मारती नजर आएंगी, जिसके बाद सिद्धार्थ का इसको लेकर reaction देखने वाला होगा। इतना ही नहीं, शहनाज गुस्से में table पर रखे photo frame को तोड़ देती हैं और चप्पल उठाकर सिद्धार्थ के ऊपर फेंकती हैं। बाद में शहनाज बाहर बैठकर जोर जोर से रोने भी लगती हैं जिसके बाद आरती और शेफाली उन्हें चुप कराती दिख रही हैं। Get ready for some high voltage drama inside the Big Boss house. तो क्या Big Boss में सिद्धनाज की जोड़ी ओवर? क्योंकि सिद्धार्थ शुक्ला को गर्म मिजाज वाला माना जाता है और ऐसे में देखना होगा कि वो शहनाज से अपनी दोस्ती को कायम रखते हैं या तोड़ते हैं। वहीं दूसरी ओर मधुरिमा तुली अपने एक्स विशाल अधित्य सिंह को चप्पल से पीटती नजर आएंगी। अपकमिंग एपिसोड में विशाल मधुरिमा के बीच एक जबरदस्त झगड़ा होता है, जिसके बाद विशाल मधुरिमा के लिए एक भद्दा कमेंट करते हैं। विशाल के कमेंट से तिल मिलाई मधुरिमा उन्हें चप्पल से दो बार मारती है। Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share with you a very interesting topic which is what is the impact of watching serials like Big Boss, Crime Patrol on our life as well as on our minds. So this is something which you know many people in our country as well as around the world really enjoy watching such serials before going to bed and have you ever wondered why such serials are telecast after 10 pm well one of the reasons is that children and adolescent youth they normally are supposed to be in bed by 10 that's why these serials are broadcast after 10 pm so obviously someone with the right kind of mind is trying to decide what is good for children and what is not good for children. So if something is bad for our children, for our kids who are adolescent, then how can it be good for us? Yes, you get vicarious pleasure by watching such serials. You have some fun, some entertainment. But more than that, you know, these serials are full of fighting all the time. People are bickering with each other. They're trying to run each other down. So there are violent, you know, reactions from each other. People are abusing each other. How can it be good for anyone who is trying to achieve something in their lives, who is trying to be successful? My feeling is, that none of the successful people if you take a survey will ever say that they watch such serials before going to bed whether it is the richest person in india which is mukesh ambani or you take you know jeff bezos who is from amazon or you take bill gates or you take any successful person it could be richard branson i am 99.9% .9 confident that these people never watch such serials before going to bed. Instead, what do they do? They go to bed. Before going to bed, they obviously have positive thoughts in their minds. They think about all the things that have gone on well during the day, which is attitude of gratitude, what has gone well. They thank God for all the blessings in their lives. And they also think positively about the next day that they are going to have. So they start planning and expecting positive results of the day which is going to come. 
So this is one of the differences between people who are really successful and people who are not. Today most of us spend hours together on social media, on TV, on uh, such serials. But is there anything positive that comes out of these things? To my mind, very little. Other than getting a momentary pleasure, there is not much a person who is trying to be successful in their life will not really gain anything meaningful out of such serials. If you watch news, if you read newspapers, all these things are full of negative news items, which definitely, you know, entices people to read them, to watch them, but at the end of the day, it doesn't help anybody. So my suggestion is, if you want to be successful, if you have a purpose, if you have a goal in your life, then stop watching such serials before bedtime. Instead, like I said, you know, thank God for all the positive things that are happening in your life. Read a book which is going to give you positive thoughts. Meditate. That is very powerful too. That will help you in again getting fresh next day and being excited. And most importantly, if you think about negative thoughts, if you have such serials which you watch before going to bed, then your mind is working on these negative thoughts. And the negative things never really contribute to a positive outcome. It impacts your stress, it impacts your health, it impacts your thought process. So there's no reason why one should watch such serials before going to bed. So friends, I hope you like the message that I've shared with you and you will instead start focusing on things which are positive, which will create a positive impact on your life. And I wish you all the best in your journey to success. Thank you for watching.